episode, we talk about James Warham, his story, and why we chose his design for this project. We discuss which design is more beautiful, and we end up with the Tiki 38 in the flush decked version. Hi, my name is Anna, and this is my husband, Life Eric. He came up with this idea to build a simple catamaran put it in a container and send it from ice cold Norway to Tahiti in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. This way we could start sailing in paradise. I said, what a crazy idea. Let's do it. This is the adventure of building and sailing Bada Bada. We knew where to find uh, friends to join us. So first it was Jan. Jan was a carpenter and an old friend of us. Jan had built a Viking ship, not only once, but he rebuilt it when it sunk uh, in the Faroe Islands. And he later sailed and rode it to Istanbul. Uh, Jan was a carpenter running a carpenter shop in, uh, in Oslo. And he was also, he had also joined Life Eric sailing Dvina from Russia to Norway. Uh, Odwine was older and he had helped us a lot when we started our sailing career. We, uh, we bought an old boat and uh, it, well, things kept breaking all the time, so we would very often like cry on Odwine's shoulders to help us out. Uh, Odwine was a retired uh, teacher and had a lot of, you know, he, he knew lots of theory. Both were very enthusiastic and immediately said, yes, it's such a good idea, let's do it. Uh, my brother Aslak and his girlfriend Itta was uh, the, the next to join the team. They, um, they had a big house south of Oslo with a huge garden and they said we could you know, do the building of the boat in, in their garden. Later, uh, Sofia joined us. She was to become a, a carpenter and was uh, Jan's girlfriend. So at this time, again, we were a team of seven. We looked at different designs and really liked the design of Muama. Very, very traditional and very beautiful looking, but she was not very big. And with maybe as much as five people on the boat on the same time, we needed something bigger. So we decided to settle for um, uh, Tiki 38, 38 feet. But with the deck house, which was in the side, she could not fit the container. So we decided to remove the deck house, make her flush decked. And that would, of course, give us less room inside, but because we were sailing in the tropics, we thought we didn't need that much uh, space inside anyway. We also settled for one mast instead of two masts. It would be easier for us, easier for us to, to handle, to, to build one mast. And we didn't need twice as many sails. Uh, James uh, Warham, the designer, gave us the permission to make, uh, to do these changes of the boat and he sent uh, the drawings and we were ready to start. So why did we decide to build a Warham Tiki 38? Well, we knew James Warham from before. I run a publishing company, publishing books about sailing and I have published more than 70 books uh, sailing adventures, practical books, uh, crime, cookbook, everything about sailing. And I had also uh, published James Warham's book, Two Girls, Two Catamarans. James Warham designed and built and sailed the first ocean-going Polynesian double canoe catamaran and crossed uh, the Atlantic in uh, his Tangarua, seven and a half meter long, I think it was with Ruth and, and Jutta in the late 50s. So at that point it was one catamaran and, and two girls across the Atlantic. And later he, uh, he designed, built and sailed several different catamarans. He also started uh, selling the, the designs, the drawings. He would have lectures, talks, books. Very, very active man. And uh, later he also met Hanneke that became his uh, partner for, uh, for years. Uh, in, until he, he died in 2021. He was 93 years old. I met him on two or three occasions. He came to, uh, to Norway and he would have a, a talk uh, where I would invite people to come and listen. And it was, they were all very, 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 very interested. And 
he also took his um, a model of one of his his boats. So I think all these ideas about uh, a catamaran, even though we were sailing monohull, was probably in the back of our head for years, I think. And um, uh, James was uh, still very, very active and a very charming man when I met him in, in the late, late uh, 80s. And he's become, you know, he's a legend in the, in the catamaran environment. And it's been that for, uh, for years. I mean, for decades. But, but I had some discussions about which design to choose. There were some that we thought were maybe more beautiful, like the Moana, but we needed her to, to fit into a container that was, you know, get as much space as possible and to fit into a 40 feet high cube uh, container. And that's why we went for Tiki 38, 38 feet, six meters long when, when you assemble her. We had a nice time, you know, discussing and looking at drawings, looking at books, reading, drinking hot chocolate, uh, having lunch together and, and kept so, sort of discussing what to do. And the most important was, of course, that she would fit in a container. And that's why we went for, for the Tiki 38 without the deck house and, and got the permission from Haneke and, uh, and James to do it like that. We were ready to start. Thank you for watching my stories. If you like what you have seen, I can make more videos. But to be able to do that, I need a little help. To keep the videos coming, you can support me by subscribing, by hitting the like button and the notification bell. It takes a lot of work and effort to make these videos. And if you want to help me a little extra, please check out my Patreon. Thanks to all my supporters.